everybody this is Bonnie from Bonnie's Creative Place and I am here with card number four from our online class Simply Succulent and I just want to let you know if you are new here and have never watch 20 of my videos on this what we do is we pick a stamp set my group of people and then um, we decide that that's going to be the stamp that we're going to bundle we're going to work on I'm going to make all four cards from that um, all you have to do is buy the stamp set and then I will send you all the paper and the products that I use to make those four cards and then you get a written tutorial and then you get these four videos that you get to reference to on how I put the cards together. Um, the other thing is is that I add in other stuff and it may be stuff that you don't have and you can use what I have. You can get them from Stamping Up or you can use products that you already have. You do not have to have them in order to get the kit and the bundle. The only thing that you have to or in order to get the kit in the tutorial the only thing you have to do is order this bundle and you have to use the hostess code that I leave you and in the description over on my um, Stampin' Up page in the community section if you stroll down a little ways there's information there and there's information over on my blog and there's also information on how to join over on my Facebook group and all the links to those are in my description box below this video. Um, the other thing I wanted to let you guys know if you like these videos and you just like what I share if you would hit the little pink square button that's over there in the bottom right hand corner I would really appreciate that. That lets you subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. And if you would share, share my videos. If nothing else, sharing them helps me a lot. So without further ado, this is going to be the card that we're going to make for our final card um, in this series. So let's get started. Get this out of the way. I'll put this right here. And you all the I'm not going to give measurements because it's all in my tutorial and they're pretty basic. So we have the base card that is of course eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter, and then we have a piece of uh, Poppy Parade. I love this color, and um, this is going to be our next layer, and then we have a piece of Whisper White that is in our next layer. And these will all be in your kit so you guys know um, you know what you'll be getting. You'll be getting a scrap piece of paper and this is to cut out the little green things. I've already gone ahead and cut them out just to save time for the video because there was a lot of coloring in this video. And then you'll get a piece of DSE paper that will go along the bottom here. You will get your twine and you'll get your gems and then you will get a piece of paper for all your stamping. Now I've gone ahead and done all my stamping. You'll get a piece of Whisper White and you will stamp all your stuff and color them out on them. So I want to explain to you what I did here. These pieces, I'm. this is why I did these ahead of time, but I'm bringing in all my pieces. So for these pieces, I want to show you what they started out like because you're looking at that and you're like, I don't see that stamp in in that bundle. How did she get that? And I don't see that half little flower there. How did she get that? So this is what I did. I went ahead and I stamped the flower. I only colored in the center part right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut that out. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how I did that. I just cut right into the flower and I went like this and I'm cutting this around. And I'm just cutting it around. And I'm just cutting around the part that I colored. If you want more of a flower, change it up. Color more of the flower. It's all up to you. But I wanted to look like it was one that was growing. And it was kind of on a vine. So I did that. And then for this one, you don't 
have to cut it you could just kind of tuck it underneath a little bit but I went ahead and I did cut them and all I did was I took this bigger one that's right here in these three petals so I'm going to cut from here down and around and back up and that's it that's all I did and then I'm going to trim that little pokey thing off and I had this far away from me <laughs> So that's how I got that. Now we don't need three of these, but I stamped an extra one to show you. And I did trim off all that little bit of a white because I didn't want that showing either. So, okay. And then you just stamped a regular one in um, Daffodil Delight. These three were all done in Daffodil Delight in colored and light and dark. These two were done with Smoky Slate and they were done with light and dark. And this one was done in Poppy Parade, and it was colored light and dark. All I did was colored the whole thing, and then kind of like back when you were in grade school, and you colored with crayons, and you colored it all in with one color, and then you went and pressed a little harder around the outside to give it more of a definition. That's all I did with all of these. So I'm just going to sit our parts off to the side for a minute. And I am going to bring in our paper here so we can put this stuff kind of together. So we're going to take the Poppy Parade, or it's, is it Parade or Parise? I don't know. I might be saying it wrong. Oh, I've done a lot of videos in the last couple of minutes here, and I'm, this is my last one for a little while. My my mouth and mind needs to take a break. <laughs> so I got that down there. And then I'm going to take this piece, the designer series paper, and I'm going to put this right at the bottom, just like this. Like that. And then I've got, you've got two pieces of, of the twine. And I've made one is longer than the other. The one that is shorter is for your bow, and the longer one is to wrap around. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and I'm just going to put some snail on the back of this. I'm going to stick this right in it. Oh, I might have went up too far. And then I am just wrapping this around here a few times. Doesn't matter exactly and then I'm just going to put that right back in there. You could trim off the excess. So it just kind of goes around a few times to give it some depth too. Then I went ahead and I just did like a bunny, um, bunny ear bow. Or not even a bunny ear bow. A, just a regular knot, I guess. Wrap it around and wrap it around. Let me explain it again. Sometimes I do this so much that I don't think about that beginners may be watching this. So I left kind of a longer tail. Then I made a loop. Then I wrap this around the loop. And I'm going to pull it through the loop. And then I'm just pulling it tight. Don't matter the size of the bows right now. Just pull it tight. Then pull this one towards you and this one towards you and just keep going back and forth until you get the length of the bunny you want. Now I left too long of a tail on this end, so I'm going to do it again. I guess leave a tail about that long, which is about three inches. So we'll try three inches. So we left three inches. We're going to wrap it around. And we're going to pull this through. Pull it tight. Now I'm holding both ends of these when I'm pulling it tight. I'm holding the bow and the end of the ribbon and I'm just pulling it tight. And now we're going to shrink it down and we're going to shrink it down on this side and just keep shrinking it down till you get it the size that you want. Okay, I think that looks about like the size that I want it. Yeah, I fiddle with it a lot. Okay. 
All right, I'm going to leave it right there. Then we're going to take a glue dot. And I like to roll it up a little bit. So I pick one up with my uh, pokey tool. And I am just going to put... Uh, some adhesive on it and then I'm just going to stick it here off to the side and then I like the long tail so I kind of left them a little long so that that way trim this one a little bit so that the way they just kind of feel like they I don't know I liked it long so that's why I left it that way now we're going to build our flowers on this card so for this, what I did was I took and I cut these in half. And I went ahead and I put one over here. I let it hang off up at the top because I wanted, I wanted it. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you could just see this maybe a little bit better. There we go. So I made it come off on the edge. Now this one, I'm going to stick right about here. Like that. And then I'm going to take this one, and you actually don't even need this one at all. We're just using this longer one. I'm going to trim off the edge of that, the top of that. And I just make this one, I'm mimicking like a vine is what I'm kind of doing here. And I'm putting this one right here. So that's how we're gonna glue these down. So we're gonna bring in our liquid glue, or it would even be better if you want, I'll do this glue this time, oops. Um, bring in your white glue, <laughs> or your uh, fine point tip glue, and just add a little bit to each one of these little round dot areas. Okay. And then we're going to flip it over. And right about there. That looks good. And then we're going to put this one down. This one here. Okay. I'm going to put this one down. We're putting it over about here, like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we're going to take our yellow, and I have this one flat. So the smaller yellow, or well, it's bigger, actually, compared to all the small ones. So we're going to put this one right here so you can see some vine on top. And it's kind of, I don't know, it looks, I like it just like that. Oh, for some reason, that's why I had, I'm missing an orange one. Well, I'll be coloring that here in just a minute with you. Then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to pop this one up. That's why I had three. It's okay. We can color one quick. You'll actually see me color one. And I'm taking this one and I'm putting it right here. I don't want to cover up too many of those because I kind of like that. And I cover up a little bit of the yellow. Now right here, I'm going to take one of these uh, brown ones that we have. And I'm going to put some glue on the back of it. So, and I'm going to take it and I'm going to tuck it right there. So it's sticking out a little bit. Okay, and now I'm going to get some tweezers here. And I'm going to pick up this one, put a little bit of uh, glue, and I'm sticking this one right about here, just like that. That might have been down a little farther too, but 
it doesn't matter if it looks exactly like mine. The idea is it's your own card. And every one you make isn't going to be perfectly the same. Okay. I'm just putting this down. And then I'm going to put another one of these on here. And then we'll grab our other one. This one right here, we're going to put it underneath a little bit and push this out. Okay. And now we need to stamp the yellow, the other one because I forgot it. So there might be enough right there. So let me get the stamp set. Well, nope, not in that piece, but we will get another piece. There we go. And we will get our... And I will get the Memento Black ink. I'll stamp this up really good. Stamp it. Yeah. Okay. And then we will color this. But I want to put my top back on this. When you're using this, um, the liquid glue ink you definitely want to put this on there as soon as you can because that stuff starts to harden up and you want to make sure that you're not uh you don't harden your whole bottle of that up okay so now we're going to color this and this is poppy parade and i'm going to get a scrap piece of paper to put underneath here and i'm just going to color this I will probably fast forward this. Well, maybe I won't. We'll see. See how long the video is first. And then we go in and we take this and I'm just going to outline this is what I was talking about, how I just outlined it, everything. And this is all I did. There we go. And that's all I did for that. Then I went ahead and... Um, oops, I just lost one of my gems I'm going to need, so I want to get this here before I lose it again, and then I'm going to get the die, and there's two of them in this set, which is very nice for when you're cutting them out. Stampin' Up! gave us two, so there's two of these dies in here, so when you're cutting out several of those other, from the other projects, the cards we made, there's two to cut them out. Then we're going to bring in the little guy. The baby stampin' and embossing machine. And you're gonna need platform one, platform two, and then we're gonna need our die, or our paper, and then our die here. And we're going to need a piece of our tape. Now they recommend that you stagger your plates on with the big guy. So have one off a little bit. And then maybe have this one over top like that. So that's kind of what I mean by staggering them. And, and then it'll go through a lot easier. If Some people were having trouble with that, so that's what they recommend. And it does go through like butter once you do that. So just to let you guys know. All right, so now we're going to bring this back in, back in focus where you guys can see it. And I'm going to add a Stampin' Dimensional to the back of that one. And I am going to put this, oh, that wants to stick on me. And I'm going to put this one right about here. Well, maybe it was up a little farther. <laughs> I have a little thing on there. There we go. I think my brown one would have been out a little bit more but I didn't have my other one down there and I should have waited but 
I think it looks okay. Oh, it's going to bug me. Let me see. This is one of those things that I would wait and change off camera. But it's going to bug me. That it is way down in there. And oops, and I flung it. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. I'm just going to take some of this glue because it's right here. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on it. There we go. And now I'm going to stick it down here where it's out a little bit more. And turn it. Oh, I need my tweezers. I can't do anything without them lately. Oh, boy. I want that to be seen. There we go. Like it. Much better. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to trim that piece off. Right up here. Snip it. And then I put a bunch of dimensionals on the back of this to pop this. Oops. Oops. Back up. Before we do that, we always want to stamp our greeting. And actually, before we even did all this work, after we put that paper on there, you might want to just set the paper there and then stamp your greeting. Just in case you make a mistake, you still have time to flip it over and you did not waste your paper. So my suggestion is to put the... Um, Put the paper down as a guide and then stamp your uh, thanks and then put your paper and stuff down. Um, especially if you're a new stamper and you don't know pressure yet, like how hard to stamp or how light to stamp, because you could end up messing that up. I'm going to zoom you guys back out so you can see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to flip this over now. Oops, and I'm going to put, I almost put that on there. And I'm going to put dimensionals on this card. <laughs> and then we're going to put this right here. All right. And then we got a lot of these different uh, gems here. I'm going to bring in my tweezers, and I'm going to pick one up, and I got a larger one right about here, and I got another large one, I can pick it up, up here, and then I got a tiny one down here, and since I have a little spot of something, I don't know what it was, I'm just going to put that one right there. And then I'm going to put this one right about here. And I put one right up here. And all I did, these are regular rhinestones. And I just colored them by taking my um, uh, blends. And I colored them and then waited for them to dry for a few seconds. It doesn't take very long. And then you can use them. So if you want to add more gems, you can do that too. Um, I, f I did not add any Wink of Stella to this card, but I forgot on my last two cards I told you that I had Wink of Stella on them, and I did not add, I did not show you me adding them. But you do, on the other cards, um, I did add Wink of Stella on card one and on card three. So, um, if you missed that. So... Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for supporting me. If you join my online class and if you're interested, you know, there's information below to go to any of those places or to just email me and I will be happy to send you the information or discuss anything with you. And I appreciate um, all your support. And if you could just subscribe, like, all the good stuff, I would appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. Bye-bye.